Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Cast 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Tonight, Shauna's got a special little tasting put together for us. I do. Um, we went a little bit of a bourbon hunt this weekend. Um, we're not successful whatsoever. That's not true. Well, for what we went to look for. Um, however, um, while I was in the store, I saw this cute little... Um, Trilogy. Yeah, trilogy of Heaven's Door, and we have not had Heaven's Door, and so it came in this little box um, with three 200 ml um, bottles, really cute bottles with nice corks and everything, um, kind of better than the whistle pig ones that we had gotten that were just a little 50 in them. At least we each got our own tasting here. We did. We each got our own tasting, and if and we like it, we can have a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so this box here in Ohio was, I believe, around fifty dollars. It was forty nine ninety nine, I believe, um, for all three bottles. And if we were to purchase all three of these bottles, it would have probably been around just around the two hundred dollar mark. And so, you know, this was a cheaper way for Brian and I to get to sample these since we have never experienced them. Now, you all know that I like pretty bottles. And so Heaven's Door um, bottles have been catching my eyes because they all have this pretty artwork on them. But um, I don't know if you know, but I don't know if you know. So Heaven's Door is a project with, um, it was co-created with Bob Dylan. Did not know that. So it makes sense as Bob Dylan has the song, knock, knock, knocking on Heaven's, Heaven's Door. door. So, um, what I've heard, and we have not really gotten into too many artists or famous um, people bourbon yet. Um, they're, you know, kind of known as gimmicky or high priced or, you know, whatever, uh, because, you know, they're, they're just, you know, famous and so they're just getting their name out there and getting the bourbon sold and stuff. So, we have yet to have these. Um, the sample came with the three, like I said, it has a straight bourbon whiskey, which is a 92 proof. It's, um, from what I read, it's aged in new American oak barrels. Um, it's non-chill filtered and it is aged for six years. The 750 ml bottle here in Ohio is $55, $54.99. Okay. Um, the second one here is the double barrel whiskey, so um, just like the double oaked. Right. Um, so it's a double barrel whiskey. It's a hundred proof. It is fifty nine ninety nine, and it is also a six year. It's a it's a, the six year whiskey, from what I understand, that is then um, put into a <laughs> an alligator chard, um, new American oak to do that double barreling. That sounds to me, if, I, if I'm trying to picture what they would call alligator char, uh -huh. is that it would be a heavily charred barrel. Okay, because I wasn't sure what it meant to be I, I don't know, but you would get, <laughs> if you've seen wood that was in a fire, how yes. it, it's kind of got. Oh yeah, I do know and, what you mean. And to me that kind of resembles an alligator skin, so yeah. maybe that's what. A really charred, so maybe we'll. Yeah, yeah we may get a lot of char in, in that one. Um, the third one, and I'm anxious to try this because I think we've discovered that we really do like rye. Do. This is Heaven's Door Straight Rye Whiskey, um, and it is $80 or $79.99 um, for the um, 750 ml. Now, it is aged in toasted oak cigar barrels from France, um, and it is aged for at least seven years, I believe. Nice. So, I couldn't find, and maybe if somebody does know and they could um, chime in and comment and let us know, I couldn't find like the distillery and let the used bottle eat and stuff like that. It's kind of undisclosed from what I see. I couldn't find a whole lot on that. However, what I did find out is that they are opening a new distillery location that's been under construction um, silently since 2017 in Pleasureville, Kentucky. Um, and this, it's supposed to be opening up this fall, but it's 
open to the public starting in the spring of 2024. Nice. So, and maybe that's a new location that next yeah. next spring we can go check out. Let's hope if after we, like we after we try these, let's hope we're anxious. <laughs> so, are Absolutely. we ready? To, I am. I'm ready. You're starting with the straight bourbon whiskey. Sure. All right. Not a whole lot on the nose. I'm not taste, um, smelling like any burn or any really no, no ethanol. And this is 92 proof. Mm. No burn. Um. No really flavors. <laughs> it really kind of fell flat on my. Don't really my know palate. how to describe it. I'm, I'm not picking up any caramels or vanillas. I'm not. Um, it's just really kind of flat. I do. I get. I've got some spice on my palate, but <clears throat> there really isn't. I didn't pick up really anything on the nose. No, it didn't do anything. Maybe a, a real slight. It's kind of, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I've never not been able to pick up at least a flavor, but it really fell flat. I think we'll have to see when we come back to it if it does anything. Yeah, it's not unpleasant. No, it's not awful. It's not a, a terrible taste or... No, it's just, just kind of no taste. Just alcohol, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing saying, ooh, mm -mm. I can pick up this or I can pick up that. It's just kind of... Hmm. Interesting. Definitely not at the D5 dollar bottle. So now this is the double barrel. Yes, the second one is the double barrel. With the alligator char. Yes. I get even less on my on my nose with that one. I'm kind of picking up some ethanol. Um, a little bit of that burn. No pleasurable flavors, nothing like no sweetness, no. Maybe again, picking up a little bit of char from this one but it's falling flat to be double Just charred like this <clears throat> comparatively speaking mm -hmm. to be double charred it's like there's no char <laughs> i agree um i i was really expecting to just almost have a face full of char when you. I'm thinking my pretty bottle. Theory. Theory is not working for me on this one, guys. Again, it's not awful. It's not. It's not a terrible taste. No. It's just no. It's just no taste. <laughs> okay, that time. When I held it a little bit further away from my nose, I can pick up some vanilla. And that's it. Just some vanilla. It's so disappointing because when it first hits your palate, 
it's it's just so pleasant there's nothing it doesn't kick or bite or anything but then it never kicks or bites or anything you know you make a good point because it doesn't kick or bite we've all had those really nice cocktails that don't kick or bite and we sit there and drink a few too many because you <laughs> know after that after that spreads it's it's going to bring the goodness behind it and it nothing comes right but i'm just saying it drinks it drinks so smoothly because there's there's no no true bite to it right that i'm sure it could do some damage if you kept drinking it. oh <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say no doubt your efforts would not go unnoticed if that's what you were trying to obtain. <laughs> all right. And that leaves the rye. rye. It's I all up to you. Hopes. It's I all up rye. to you. And so I didn't find the mash bills for these, um, but this does say a straight rye, so I'm assuming that would mean it's 100% rye. Um, Watch him find them right on the bottles and I didn't see them. <laughs> I, I didn't see them earlier when I looked. I just was looking to see if it mentioned something about rye. Straight rye. <clears throat> Absolutely nothing on the nose. Like I had more on these two than I did this. Now, with the rye, I am picking up those spices that you would normally get from a rye but they're not bold spices. They're kind of like watered down spices. I was just gonna say water. Yeah. The, these were bolder in comparison. They were, for real. To this. Yes. I, I'm glad you find the trilogy. I am too. So we didn't buy a full bottle. Because, I mean, that alone was $80. Yes. Just for the rye. The rye was eighty dollars. I mean, this one wasn't, but a seven fifty ml would be right. Yeah, and so <coughs> you know. <clears throat> all right, I I really I really hate to give bad reviews to bourbons and whiskeys, um, but I would not buy a single one of these. Mm -mm. Um. Maybe if they were in the $20 range, maybe, but you have like the wild turkeys no. in the... Because in my opinion, they're just bad. And what's Beth always tell us? <laughs> Life Life's is too, too short, short to, to drink, drink bad, bad booze. booze. <laughs> so unfortunately... I will probably choke these two down, but that is probably going to be the first one ever that I'm not gonna finish. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that we found this box set and I'm glad we're only really out $50 instead of $200. Absolutely. Um, kind of disappointed I'm out <laughs> even $50 <laughs> after tasting them. Um, it's, it's But hey, they're cool bottles. They are really cool bottles. You bought $50 worth of three chunks of glass. Hey, maybe I can find some type of decor to do with them. But you know what? <laughs> In all honesty, I brought home a bottle of straight four roses. Oh. That, that's pretty bad. Well. Not this bad, but pretty bad. Yeah, it has some flavor. What was that, 80? 80, 88 proof, I think, I'm not sure. Proof. Was very much. 80. 80. Oh, just want to give a shout out. My friend, Sweet Wheat. Very excited over this. We are. We got a couple other exciting yes. ones back there. We have very exciting ones back we there. We got 1792 bottle in bond. Yes. That will be. 1792 full proof. Full batch and full proof. So that's. 
that's a nice lineup. And something else exciting I arrived right. today. Because we cannot get this at all. We, we're we, handling it's, this. It's not that it doesn't show up in Ohio. We just are not lucky. We got our first bottle of Stag. Still sealed up. So that'll be getting open for a show now, at some point. I have to ask Brian this because I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, his niece and nephew was able to find this for us out in Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, and it says single barrel select from Fry's. So, so is this the store pick? That's a store pick from pick? Fry's grocery okay. store. That's kind of awesome. And I believe uh, they also sent us. Yes, another store pick. Not that one. Yep, it's that one. Oh, I don't think that is a store pick. I thought it was. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it is. Uh, Elijah Craig Single Barrel, and it's a private barrel, again, for Fry's Food Store. So, um, we just got these in today, so we're anxious. <clears throat> and both of them, I should say neither of them, are lacking in proof. Uh, the stag comes in at 133.4. And the Elijah Craig comes in at 134.7. So those are going to be fun. Right. We're looking forward to those, I think. We, we very much are. Now, I have to tell you, we had our very first bad cork. We did. Last night. Um, and we opened up a bottle. And so Brian and I got this beautiful decanter for our 15th anniversary and we have glasses to match and this is why we had gotten a 15 year Knob Creek to put in it we hadn't done that yet for our 15 year anniversary however we went ahead and put the bourbon in here that had a bad cork so we're going to try to drink so we it could off. use so we could use the good cork but if you're ever in Asheville North Carolina yep. this hand blown um, glass place they have beautiful artwork um, very impressive. You can sit there and watch them. Yeah. So make sure you stop in in Asheville and do that Lexington um, class. Lexington work. class works. It's pretty. It's really cool. Beautiful. And no, they don't sponsor us or anything else. But we are really. really in fact, we weren't even doing this. No, yet not when at we all. went in there. We were just drinking. We were just drinking. <laughs> Much like we are now. Yeah. So um, one last thing. <clears throat> I'm not ready to show any progress yet. Uh, a while back we said that we were going to um, actually finish our basement and have a dedicated bar area yep. where we will move the show, Cask 529, and um, that project has started. So I just started, uh, just started construction today, so I'm not ready, it's not really a whole lot to see yet, but probably a couple days we'll be back with another show and we'll give you a little glimpse of what's going on with that. We will. Um, I'm very excited about that. I, um, I was came home from work and then went out to the shop to do a few projects I had to get done tonight and when I came in Brian had a partial wall up and I was so giddy. I'm it's so exciting. Excited. And that guys is is what um, we do together but it's also what I do full-time is that kind of stuff so we it's just been on the bulletin board we've just had to get to it and we're we're finally there we're still finishing up some other stuff but, yes um we finally we finally got ourselves in line we're finally we're finally the guys getting worked on so <laughs> that's exciting it is okay the honey do list will be growing it will, and there'll, and there'll be some stuff that'll get shuffled down the list because we're kind of on a deadline for this. Don't know if it's a possible deadline, but I don't know that we've ever really missed one. If we don't, if we miss this deadline, our friends will still love us and come party anyways at Christmas. They will. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's what's going on here. Yep. And... Um, Thank you for getting those. Hey, I am very sorry. I feel that like tonight is the very first night we've had a complete miss. I was excited all day I because I knew this was going to be our show, and I was excited to, you know, finish up today's work, 
to finally sit down and enjoy some bourbon. Hopefully it was going to be good bourbon. Bex, just be glad that you found this. Yes, and that I didn't come home with all three 750 bottles. Because we would have eventually bought, maybe one at a time, but we would have bought the bottles. Yeah. So, we but, will not be doing that. Yeah, now we know we don't need to. No. Totally up to you guys, but if you're asking us for our opinion, yes. no way. Okay, thanks for joining us, guys. And until next time, everybody have a great evening. Thank you.